wow guardians just wow there's some serious taken news that came out today for starters the original voice of ghost done by peter dinklage or better known as dinklebot will be voiced by nolan north and not as a new ghost but as a straight up replacement how you say well they are completely redoing all the voice acting from ghost in the original vanilla game I don't know what happened, but Peter Dinklage is about to be just a mirage of a memory in the world of Destiny. For those that don't know, Nolan North has offered his voice to various video game projects, but would be best known for lending his voice to the famed Nathan Drake from the Uncharted series. An interesting change indeed. Next up, they are telling us that the loot system will be improved. Basically, they are building upon the catered loot system offered in Crota's End, and I believe the House of Wolves as a whole so you will see less redundant drops and more that you actually need. Next up is that we will no longer have armor imbued with light, but instead the light will be tied to us guardians within ourselves. What does that mean in English? That our levels be experience based from now on, which means you can literally wear any green or blue armor that you like and still be at level cap. How awesome is that? However, they will have significantly less defense, so obviously you'll likely want to rock the legendary gear. Now the level cap won't be just a measly 2 level grind to 36 because the new light level cap has been announced as 40. Lastly is something I'm not too happy about, but I understand why. And that is our old legendary weapons will not be able to ascend to the next level cap. So all our 365 fate bringers, vision of confluence, messengers, jewel of Osiris's, hopscotch pilgrims, shadow prices, red hand nines, party crashers, matadors, her benevolence, low grade humility, all fate, ill will, I can go on and on, will be left behind. Why? Well we know part of it is that it's not Bungie's desire for us to have a 600 plus damage Vogue Vogue weapon in year 9 of destiny. They want to give us more and new exciting weapons to try. Another reason is just a guess, and that is that Bungie realized that some of the older weapons weren't as balanced as they had hoped, which is why things like Field Scout are no longer available, but a more trade-off type of perk like Cascade instead. This is the direction they want to go, but in order for us to even want these weapons over our old, more powerful ones, would be to force us to leave them behind. Part of me is looking forward to the new feel of Destiny when it comes to weapons, but I will surely miss my old ones. Even after Taken King comes out, our old weapons will not automatically become useless. Do you remember back in Dark Below when people were comparing a 300 Fatebringer with a 331 Word of Crota? They did the same damage, only within a couple of numbers of each other. So we won't really have to leave anything behind till probably Destiny 2. So tell me what you think about these changes. Leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. My name is Chit and I approve this message.